Hey, welcome to another episode of Jazz Beer Reviews. Continue with BJCP style guidelines. We are now on category 24, Belgian Ale. Just Belgian Ale. This category contains the maltier to balance, more highly flavored Belgian French ales, and specifically style 24A wit beer. Overall impression a refreshing, elegant, tasty, moderate strength wheat based ale. And for that, I got one of my all time favorite examples of the style, which I haven't had literally in years because I can't get it anymore. It was Allagash White. All right, so let's get to the comments, history, all that stuff. So um, it's actually sort of long. Um, presence, character, and degree of spicing, lactic sourness varies. That's interesting. They mentioned lactic sourness there, which we haven't got to yet, is that some whipped beers can actually have a little bit of lactic character in them. It's not a flaw if it's done right, but those those examples are actually pretty rare. Overly spicy and our sour beers are not a good, not good examples of style. I hate that sentence because that is, like, really, really subjective. I mean, the whole thing is subjective, but... It should just say are not common, maybe, or something. Coriander of certain origins might t give an inappropriate ham or celery character. That's true. A lot of people um, think coriander tastes like soap or something. The beer tends to be fragile and doesn't age well, so younger, fresher, probably handling examples are most desirable. True. I mean, it's all subjective. Most examples tend to be approximately 5% ABV. Um, we'll skip the history. Characters and ingredients. This is interesting. About 50% unmalted wheat and 50% pale barley malt, usually pills malt. Um, up to 5 to 10% oats and curacao, sweet orange peel, other spices may be used. Um, ale yeast prone to production of mild spicy flavors characteristic. Some additions, very limited lactic fermentation or, or the actual addition of lactic acid is done. And in some comparisons, they compare it to a Weiss beer. I, I would agree with that. The Witt beer is like the Belgian equivalent of a Hefeweizen. and love both examples. But our vitals, only 8 to 20 IBU is not very bitter and 2 to 4 SRM, very, very light colored beer. All right, so let's dive ahead and head first to the Allagash White, starting with the aroma. Ah, yes. I haven't actually haven't had a whip beer in a long time, and I love this smell. Just the, the, the orange peel, the coriander, the yeast esters, like a little bit of that black pepper, a little bit of a spicy kind of character. So it's it's like this f like lovely fruity thing, but then like in the background you get a little bit of like a spiciness. The wheat's there. I mean, it, it does remind me a lot of, like, a German wheat beer, but this one's, like, more, like, bright and, like, fruity, whereas, like, a, a heft tends to be more, like, on the spicy And There's no banana in this one. Or maybe it's, I mean, oh, actually, I mean, there is, a, like, a little bit of banana, but it's not nearly as strong as it is in a heft. Like, this is more, you're getting a lot more orange. I mean, you should because there's orange peel in it. And just kind of, like, so orange, black pepper, banana general fruitiness um i know they use oats in here so there's like a little bit of like a cereal kind of a thing going there so it's like a slightly sweet kind of a nose to it a little bit bready i don't know to me it it smells fantastic um let's check the specs on aroma aroma moderately mild i'm sorry moderate malty sweetness off of the light notes of honey and vanilla i do not get either of those but i do agree uh moderate malty sweet is true with light grainy spicy wheat aromatics often with a bit of tartness true Moderate perfumey coriander, often with a complex herbal, spicy, or peppery note in the background. Exactly what I just said. Moderate zesty, citrusy, orangey fruitiness. Mm, they say moderate. I would say it's moderately, well, moderately strong here, but um, I don't know. I, I think that's within the specs. A low spicy herbal hop aroma is optional, but should never overpower the other cake. I really don't get uh, much hops in here. Vegetal, celery-like, or ham-like aromas are inappropriate. Spices should blend in with fruity, floral, and sweet aromas and should not be overly strong. This is one of the few styles where if you add like a little bit of other spices to it, if you can still get away without having to put this as a 30A. But um, I don't know. They say moderate, zesty, citrusy, orange. I mean, I mean, yeah, but I don't know. I think this is really good. I think, okay, so it's not a 12, but I'm going to give it 11 on, on aroma. So they say moderate. I'm getting like moderately strong appearance. Well, classic uh, wit beer. Uh, you know, it's like a milky white. Or uh, where'd my here it is. Um, the sun. Yep. It actually is like a one to two, but very very cloudy. Kind of like a goes almost. A little disappointed on the foam there. I only got about a thumb width, and it's kind of faded already. Maybe we'll we'll bring it back. But um, yeah, pretty good looking beer. Let's check the specs on appearance. Very pale straw and a very light golden color, true. The beer will give a very cloudy from starch, haze, and or yeast, which gives it a milky, whitish yellow appearance, true. Dense, white, moosey head. Head retention should be quite good. Hmm. Well, I mean, I, it's not fizzling away like a lager, 
But um, it's certainly not all it could be. But appearance is only on a three-point scale, so I mean, I don't see any reason not to give it a three, um, unless that head completely fades. Maybe we'll come back to that. So, all right, so on to the best part, flavor. Cheers. Lots of things going on with this beer. Um, I'm getting the orange, I'm getting the coriander, I'm getting a little bit of banana and just kind of like general fruitiness. Um, and I get, on the back end, I get like a really strong, like, uh, you know, cracked black peppercorn, like fresh peppercorn kind of thing. And that's just all yeast esters. There's like a little bit of a tartness to it. I would not go so far as to say like any kind of lactic character, but there is like a tartness, kind of like you would get in a lemonade without that acidity or, or anything like that. I mean, all that's from the wheat and the oats that they add in there. I mean, oats probably more for mouthfeel than anything else. So it does have like a bit of a creamy, smooth texture. But, you know, you're using unmalted wheat and lots of Pilsner malt. It does give a little bit of a tartness. Really, really delicious. Yeah, and just lovely, lovely fruity bouquet for the whole thing. Like, obviously orange peel, a little bit of lemon in there, a little bit of lemon pith, um, tiny little bit of banana. And then like on the back end, pretty strong peppercorn um actual bitterness is fairly low i would not call this like a super sweet beer though it's not that it's sweet it's just that it's really estery and fruity tasting like when i think sweet beer i think like you know imperial stout or something like that or any any kind of you know beer with like added you know flavoring to it to make it sweet but um this is i mean it's just like this kind of bready kind of thing um bready weedy you know, Odie, cereally, um, and just big fruits and everything. Um, yeah, really, really delectable. Uh, this is my first time drinking this, scoring it to style or even thinking about it. So let's check the specs on flavor. Flavor, pleasantly malty, sweet grain flavor, often with honey and a vanilla character. Again, I am not getting honey or vanilla. I don't think it's a flaw, but... And a zesty orange citrusy fruitiness. Absolutely. Refreshing, crisp with a dry, often tart finish. Absolutely, is what I just said. Can have a low bready wheat flavor, true. Optionally has a very light lactic tasting sourness. I don't get sourness, but like I said, I get a tiny little bit of tartness. Herbal spicy flavors, which may include coriander and other spices, are common, should be subtle and balanced, not overpowering. Absolutely true. A spicy earthy hop flavor is low to none. If noticeable, it never gets in the way of spices, true. Yeah, I mean, they say it's optional, so, you know, low to none, yeah. Nothing really in the way of hot flavor. If, if it's there, it's just kind of adding to the, the spicy kind of, of palate there. Hot bitterness is low to medium row. That's what I just said, right? Bitterness from orange pith should not be present. That's absolutely true. It's The orange is adding a sweetness and a fruity character, not not any kind of dry, uh, pithy thing. Vegetal celery-like, ham-like, or soapy flavors are inappropriate. True. I do not get any soap on here. It does have like this really like fresh, kind of clean taste to it. So... Yeah, this one is definitely living up to the style. I mean, it's one of the commercial examples of the style for a good reason. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go pretty high on this one. I think this is this could be an 18 or 19. Um, I don't think it's quite a 20, but it's it's really really good. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be really really generous. I'm gonna go 19 out of 20 here. Mouthfeel. What's going on with that? Mm. I'd probably say it's about a medium medium light body. Very, very smooth, very refreshing while in the mouth. Finishes like a little bit of like a spicy aftertaste, like that kind of peppery yeast ester kind of thing kind of lingers on the tongue. But, um, you know, very, very drinkable, very, very refreshing. Um, I I always said like this beer should be in cans, like in tall boy cans would be a great summer beer. What's it be in this thing? It's 5.1. So, you know, a little bit stronger than your average session beer, but... You know, I think in warm weather, especially outside, you could definitely drink this all day. Um, yeah, so great drinkability on it and really comfortable mouthfeel. Let's see what the specs say about that. Mouthfeel, medium light to medium body. I've been having a smoothness and light creaminess from unmalted wheat and the occasional oats. True. Despite body and creaminess, finishes dry and often a bit tart. True. Effervescent character from high carbonation. I'd say this is probably closer to like a... Yeah, medium high. It doesn't feel like a champagne kind of carbonation, but I mean, it's definitely pretty uh, effervescent. Effervescent character from high carbonation. Okay, that's just one sentence. Okay. Refreshing from carbonation, light acidity, and lack of bitterness and finish. True. No harshness or astringency from orange pith. True. Should not be overly dry and thin, nor should it be thick and heavy. True. 
So I mean, it's pretty much there. I could go four or five on mouthfeel. I mean, I think it's, I think it's right there. Uh, I, you know, I'm been given such high marks already. Uh, why not? Why stop here? I'm gonna go five out of five on mouthfeel. Over impression, obviously, I'm gonna go ten out of ten. I think this is almost a perfect beer, um, especially for the style. I mean, the only thing that's like really holding it up on me is like, uh, I, I would have liked a bigger foam, and like they said, like moderate orange peel and. I get like a little bit more than moderate, but to me, it's just perfect in like every aspect. And I, I can see why it's on the list. So 48 out of 50 for Allagash. All right. I am rambling. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time. Cheers. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better. <laughs> <laughs>